Now let's get the latest live now from Colorado in the legal case building now against Holmes. Our coverage continues with ABC's Brandy Hitt, who's live outside the courthouse in Centennial. And Brandy, tell us about Holmes, his appearance, demeanor, and what legal observers are saying about him. Well, Paul, it was very bizarre. Obviously, if you've seen the video, you've seen the bright orange hair, you've seen that dazed look in his eyes. And also something you may not have seen is that he didn't address anybody in the court. He never looked at the judge. He didn't even look at his own attorney during that hearing. So some people are speculating maybe in fact he did suffer a mental break. There are others right now who say, well, maybe this is an act. This is a smart guy who got a degree in neuroscience. But we did speak with ABC's Dan Abrams earlier, and he says, you know what? If he is going to go the route of a defense that there's some sort of mental defect, you're going to be seeing a lot more of this behavior and him looking like this a lot more in court. And the jail not commenting on whether he was uh, medicated or not. They're right. saying he can't comment on that, so we don't know. But what is the chance here that he is going to face the death penalty there in, in Colorado? Before today's hearing, we heard the district attorney say that she was considering the death penalty in this case. Today, she came out after the hearing and said they're still considering it, but first they would like to meet with the victim's families. That's important because if they do pursue the death penalty in Colorado, it is going to lengthen this process, and that means a longer time for the families to go through this. They have to make the decision, though, in the next 60 days. You mentioned the victim's families, and several uh, of those families were in the courthouse. I can only imagine how painful that must have been for them to actually see Holmes in there and just to kind of act so un unfazed by everything. You could see the emotion on their faces, too, as they walked in. It appeared some of them were crying. But what I found interesting is that you had perfect strangers who never knew, you know, never knew each other before this tragedy. And together, some of them wanted to hold hands as they walked in. I also heard that in court, other families that were walking and meeting for the first time hugged in the middle of the courtroom. Nice to meet you. They seem to be unified, you know, in this experience together. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot more of that as this hearing in the trial resumes. Mm, that, the bond of, of common loss on display in that courtroom. All right, thanks to ABC's mm -hmm. Brandy Hitt again reporting live for us from Centennial, Colorado. Thanks again, Brandy. And stay with ABC News on the air and online as we cover every development from Colorado in this horrible story. You can find updates anytime at abcnews.com.